Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wild and wacky world of Hollywood. We all know that making it big in Tinseltown isn't exactly a walk in the park. It takes hard work, perseverance, and a whole lot of talent to catch the eye of the big wigs in the biz. And even then, there's no guarantee that you'll be the next big thing. But fear not, my friends, for there is hope. Many of the most popular and beloved stars of the silver screen started out in the humble realm of B-movies. That's right, these low-budget, high-concept flicks that you might see on late-night cable TV or at your local drive-in. In fact, some actors and actresses have made a name for themselves in the B-movie world, only to find themselves struggling to stay afloat in the cutthroat world of mainstream cinema. But fear not, for there is no shame in that game. Some of the most talented and versatile actors have gone back to their B-movie roots, embracing the quirky, offbeat, and downright bizarre world of indie filmmaking. And today, we're here to celebrate the leading ladies who started their journey in the B-movie world before making it big. These are the women who defied the odds, broke through the barriers, and showed the world that talent knows no bounds. So sit back, relax, and get ready to embark on a journey through the annals of Hollywood history. We'll be exploring the careers of actresses who started out in the wacky and wonderful world of B-movies and went on to become some of the most beloved and iconic stars of our time. From scream queens to action heroines, we've got it all. So grab your popcorn, turn off your phone, and get ready to be entertained. This is one cinematic journey you won't want to miss. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. I'm a pillar of the community. Pam is a good person. Renee Zellweger. She may have started out slumming in low-budget flicks like A Taste for Killing, but she quickly ascended to the top of the A-list with her iconic performance in Jerry Maguire. But let's not forget where she came from. In A Taste for Killing, a college student who along with a friend landed a summer job on a said oil rig found herself sucked into a web of deceit and danger by a co-worker with a murderous agenda. Talk about a summer job from hell. It might not have been Oscar material, but hey, we all have to start somewhere. Renee Zellweger went on to steal our hearts as the single mother and romantic interest of Tom Cruise's glossy sports agent in the hit movie Jerry Maguire. Who knew that playing the love interest of a Hollywood heartthrob would be the ultimate ticket to stardom? But let's give credit where credit is due. Renee's performance in Jerry Maguire was nothing short of sensational. She brought depth and humanity to her character, making us root for her, and Tom's on-screen romance and Tom himself couldn't stop gushing about her, crediting her with revealing the core humanity of the movie. Talk about a power couple. And let's not forget about movie's box office success. With a worldwide gross of over $273 million, Jerry Maguire proved to be a game changer for Renee's career, catapulting her into the limelight and cementing her status as a Hollywood leading lady. So here's to you, Renee Zellweger, and your big break in Jerry Maguire. You showed us that true love is about idealism, and that sometimes all it takes is one movie to change your life forever. And then I show him my breasts, and I say, these... These are waiting for you when right. you get back home. You know, Terry, they're, they're not the biggest... Eva Mendez. Eva Mendez is not just a Hollywood actress, she's a force of nature. With her sultry looks and killer acting skills, she's the kind of woman who can make any man weak in the knees and any woman envious of her beauty. Mendez first burst into the scene in the late 90s with her role in Children of the Corn 5, Fields of Terror. Now, I'm not saying that that was a great movie. In fact, it was pretty corny, unintended. However, since then, Mendez has gone on to star in a variety of films, including the comedy hitch, the crime drama We Own the Night, and the romantic drama. The Place Beyond the Pines, alongside her real-life partner, Ryan Gosling. In addition to her acting career, Mendez has also worked as a model, fashion designer, and philanthropist. Eva Mendez made her big break when she landed a supporting role in the critically acclaimed crime thriller Training Day. The film starred Denzel Washington as the corrupt narcotics officer Alonzo Harris and Ethan Hawke as the rookie cop Jake Hoyt, who was assigned to shadow him for a day. Mendez played the role of Sarah, Alonzo's mistress and the mother of his young son. Her character added depth to the film and Mendez brought a naturalistic quality to the role that made her stand out. Though her screen time was limited, Mendez made a lasting impression and caught the attention of audiences and critics alike. $20 million worth of plastic surgery. And that's the face you choose. 
Angelina Jolie Oh, Angelina Jolie, the queen of badassery and Hollywood royalty. Did you know that she got her start in the B-movie world with Cyborg 2? Yes, our beloved Angie started off in the land of low-budget productions, fighting off cyborgs like it was just another day at the office. Cyborg 2 was a movie so cheesy, it would give a Wisconsin dairy farmer a run for their money. But fear not, my friends, for Angelina was destined for greater things. She made her big break in the cyber thriller Hackers, where she stole not only the hearts of her co-star, stars, but also the hearts of audiences worldwide. With her piercing gaze and rebellious attitude, she quickly became a household name and left her B-movie days behind. It's got all the hallmarks of a 90s cult classic. Neon colors, techno music, and a cast of fresh-faced young actors who are all trying way too hard to be cool. So let's raise a glass of our favorite cyberpunk goddess, who started out from the bottom and now she's here, ruling the silver screen with her talent and charisma. Cheers to you, Angelina Jolie. Hi, Mr. Lombardo. Denise Richards Denise Richards, the actress known for her beauty and wit, made her first foray into the world of B-movies with National Lampoon's Loaded Weapon 1. The film, a hilarious parody of Lethal Weapon franchise and other action movies, starred an ensemble of cast that included Emilio Estevez, Samuel L. Jackson, and of course, Denise Richards herself. While the film was not a critical darling, it was a hit with audiences who were looking for a good laugh and some over-the-top action. But it was her breakout role in the 1997 sci-fi action film Starship Troopers that really put Denise Richards on the map. Directed by Paul Verhoeven and based on the classic novel by Robert A. Heinlein, the film was a biting satire of fascism and militarism that was ahead of its time. Richards played a tough but beautiful pilot, Carmen Ibanez, who stole the heart of the film's leading man, Johnny Rico, played by Casper Van Dien. The film might have been panned by critics upon its release, but over time it has gained a cult following and is now considered a classic of the genre. Denise Richards may have started her career in B-movies and genre films, but she is since proven herself to be a versatile actress with a knack for comedy and drama alike. And let's not forget her turn as a Bond girl in The World Is Not Enough, where she played the sultry nuclear physicist Dr. Christmas Jones. With her wit, charm, and undeniable beauty, Denise Richards is truly one of a kind. Charlize Theron Charlize Theron, the South African bombshell, has come a long way since her first speaking role film, Two Days in the Valley. In the 1996 neo-noir black comedy, Charlize Theron played a character of a hitman. If you've never seen it, think of it as a wackier version of Pulp Fiction. But it was Theron's performance in The Devil's Advocate that really put her on the map. In the 1997 supernatural horror film, Theron played Marianne, the wife of a Florida lawyer, Keanu Reeves, who becomes haunted by frightening visions while working for a New York City law firm owned by the devil Al Pacino. Theron's character undergoes a dramatic transformation going from a loving and supportive wife to a tortured soul plagued by demonic visions. It's a performance that showcased Theron's range and set her on the path to becoming one of Hollywood's most sought-after actresses. Theron's career has only continued to soar since those early days with roles in blockbuster hits like Mad Max Fury Road and Atomic Blonde, as well as critically acclaimed dramas like Monster, for which she won an Academy Award. But even with all the success, Theron has never forgotten her roots. She is known for her down-to-earth personality and sharp wit, proving that even Hollywood A-listers can be both talented and relatable. Happy birthday to him. Jennifer Aniston Jennifer Aniston has come a long way since her debut into horror comedy, The Leprechaun, where she starred alongside a vengeful leprechaun on a hunt for his beloved pot of gold. While the film might have been a bit of a misstep, it certainly didn't stop Aniston from becoming one of the most beloved actresses of all time. But let's not forget the show that propelled her to fame. Friends Aniston played the lovable Rachel Green, a fashion-conscious coffee addict who captured the hearts of millions of viewers with her on-again, off-again romance with Ross. The show was a cultural phenomenon, and Aniston Aniston's performance earned her numerous accolades, including an Emmy Award. Now, Aniston is a household name known for her impeccable comedic timing and her ability to light up the screen with her infectious smile. From rom-coms to indie dramas, she's tackled a wide range of roles, proving time and time again that she's more than just a pretty face. So let's raise a glass to Jennifer Aniston, a true Hollywood icon who started her career with a leprechaun and ended up a friend to us all. About heading towards the light or looking down on me from heaven, I swear I will kill you myself right now. 
Katherine Heigl. Katherine Heigl might have started her career in a B-movie called That Night, but there was nothing B-list about her performance. In fact, she was so impressive that it caught the attention of Hollywood, leading her to her breakout role in the hit medical drama Grace Anatomy. Heigl had a talent and charisma to become a star, which is exactly what happened when she landed the role of Dr. Isabel Izzy Stevens in Grey's Anatomy. Heigl quickly became a fan favorite on the show, showcasing her range as an actress and earning critical acclaim for her performance. She even won an Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series in 2007. From her early days in That Night to her success in Grey's Anatomy, Katherine Heigl has proven time and time again that she's a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. With her talent and wit, it's no wonder she became one of the most beloved actresses in the industry today. Demi Moore Demi Moore's career might have started with some questionable B-movie choices, but she quickly rose to fame with her breakout role in the romantic comedy drama about last night. Before she was making millions and starring in blockbusters, Moore started out in films like Parasite and The Seventh Sign. But it was her role as Debbie Sullivan in About Last Night that really put her on the map. The film follows the tumultuous relationship between Moore's character and Rob Lowe's character as they navigate the ups and downs of love and commitment. And let's not forget James Belushi's hilarious turn as Lowe's friend and colleague Bernie Litko. Moore's performance in About Last Night was both charming and relatable with her character struggling to balance her career and personal life. She she brought a vulnerability to the role that made audiences fall in love with her. From there, Moore went on to become one of the biggest stars of the 90s with iconic roles in films like Ghost, A Few Good Men, and Indecent Proposal. But it all started with About Last Night where she proved that she was more than just a pretty face. So here's to Demi Moore, the B-movie queen who became a Hollywood icon. We can't wait to see what she'll do next. It's actually written right there. It says, uh, Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy. Mm. Julia Louis-Dreyfus Julia Louis-Dreyfus, the Emmy-winning actress we know and love, got her start in Woody Allen's classic film Hannah and Her Sisters. She played a minor role in the ensemble cast, but we like to think that her performance was a major contribution to the film's success. After all, it's not every day that you get to be in a movie with Woody Allen, Mia Farrow, and Michael Caine. But it wasn't until Seinfeld that Louis-Dreyfus really made her mark in Hollywood. She played the hilarious and iconic character of Elaine Benz, the only woman in Jerry's inner circle of friends. Her comedic time timing and impeccable delivery made her a fan favorite and helped turn Seinfeld into one of the most popular sitcoms in television history. Louis Dreyfus went on to star in other successful shows like The New Adventures of Old Christine and Veep, earning her multiple awards and nominations along the way. But we'll always remember her as the sharp-tongued Elaine delivering unforgettable lines like Get out and yada yada yada. So here's to Julia Louis Dreyfus, the actress who started out in a Thanksgiving-themed film and went on to become a comedy legend. We can't wait to see what she does next. Marvelous Verdict And that, my friends, is the story of some of the most talented and resilient actresses in Hollywood history. From their humble beginnings in the B-movie world to international fame and success, these women have proven that anything is possible with hard work, determination, and a little bit of luck. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the careers of these incredible leading ladies. Maybe you've even been inspired to pursue your own dreams of becoming a Hollywood star. Just remember, every journey starts with a single step and you never know where that step might take you. So keep Keep dreaming big, keep striving for greatness, and never give up on your passions. Who knows, maybe one day we'll be watching you on the big screen telling your own story of how you got to start in the wild and wonderful world of B-movies. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, and keep enjoying the magic of cinema. If you like the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.